Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're asking the question, what will happen when we next see each other? Okay, and we have five Kipper decks uh, before us. Um, two sets are the same. Okay, and it's um, deck one, two, three, four, and five. So go ahead, make your selection, go down to the description box below and you're going to find the timestamp there, uh, which will lead you to your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck, uh, the question we're asking today is, what will happen when we next see each other? Well, I do believe this is quite poignant because we have a Christmas tree here and uh, when I'm, I'm shooting this video a few weeks before Christmas. So whenever you access this video, uh, it is timeless and um, it does not necessarily speak to Christmas in terms of the timing, but rather the meaning of this is that you'll be exchanging gifts or receiving a gift rather, as the card says, when you see this person. Uh, the next time and so here they show me uh, that you meet with each other that you spend time with each other uh, alone and that um, there is a, a happy feeling a feeling of uh, pleasantries and, and good times and um, the, the exchange of gifts and the exchange of gifts does not have to be a material gift it could be simply the exchange of one's company that you both thoroughly enjoy and I'm seeing um, a court person here. So you may, um, it, you may meet um, and perhaps discuss uh, somebody who's working in the legal field. Or you may meet um, a person, uh, you may meet the person that you, you are asking about here. And uh, you could be discussing something with regard to legal matter. Um, or you could potentially be discussing a, um, a political legal matter or so, something to do with the law that uh, you know is a general is a general thing but I do feel that um, you there will be an element of this conversation which will have a seriousness to it where you will be discussing something that has grave consequences for another I don't believe however that it has something to do with you although in some cases it might be uh, with regard to a home, it might re be with regard to um, leaving a home, um, clearing a contract. Uh, it could also be um, uh, with regard to, you know, this person meets you and tells you about a particular uh, legal issue that they have in their lives. Or you, put, or you come together and you share what's going on in your lives with regard to a particular legal issue. Um, however, there is it, there is not a, a negative or a positive outcome here that's indicated. It's simply that this is just the way it is. It is simply that you come together, um, that you know you you discuss this. Uh, it could also be that um, you when you come together, there is somebody with you who is a a, a, a lawyer, or or perhaps you meet. Um, with a lawyer or uh, with a notary or perhaps you meet in a bar but um, this person brings along a friend who's uh, working in the legal field. So there are various uh, interpretations of this and um, if, if, you know, if we were doing a private reading I'd be able to tell you exactly what's going on here but I'm just leaving this open because uh, There'll be so many of you watching this and it will uh, resonate with you in a different way. It will apply to you in a different way. And so, but, but what, is, what you can expect is that you will meet, you will have uh, good times. You will, there will perhaps be something to discuss that is more serious. And um, there will be an exchange of gifts along the way. And that is something certainly to look forward to. So I hope um, that those of you who have chosen the first option 
uh, happy with your outcome and let me know if that actually happens. So for those of you who've chosen the second deck, the question we're asking today is what will happen when we see them? What will happen when we see them? Ooh, they're flying all over the place here. just feel that there are more cards that want to come through here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose well, another two fallen out. I'm going to leave these two out. So here it seems as if um, when you meet with each other, there'll be more than one person there. And once again, there is a gift um, that's here as in the first option that we have. And um, I've taken two more cards here because um, they seem to be, there seem to be more than one message available. So it's showing me that there'll be somebody, the person that you are talking about is going to be there and you're going to be meeting them, but there's going to be somebody else there and you're going to be discussing something with regard to this person. There's going to be something like an offering perhaps, or uh, perhaps there's a gift that's uh, given to you. Perhaps you meet the person that you're thinking about meeting, but then there's this, uh, this other person is there and they offer you a gift or they offer you something which is not a tangible gift, but they offer you something like um, uh, an opportunity. Uh, it could also be that uh, you you meet with this person, which is the person that you're asking about. This could be male or female. And uh, you this person brings along this other person and they say something like, yeah, you know, I have this uh, available or I have this job available or I have the space that you could rent or I have this uh, this this uh, item that I'm not using that you could have. And so you actually uh, have something from it, but you benefit from this, that you, you receive a gift as a result. And um, I feel it's quite forthcoming. It's quite, um, they're quite happy to lend this to you or to give this to you. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a really good uh, feeling that everyone has here. Although it, it can be a little bit somber. Um, the, there is this person that comes along with the person that you are asking about uh, that is a very friendly, very generous person as well. Um, the other thing which could happen in this scenario is that um, you meet your per the person that you're thinking about and you basically uh, you talk about this other person here who has something to offer who has who is going to be given a gift that you can both benefit from or you can all benefit from so this is something that it, if you receive the gift or it's something that you directly benefit from but it could also be in some cases that um, you all benefit from this and there might be a scenario also where you asking about um, you know what will happen when we meet like you're going in for a job interview and what will happen when we meet and there's more than one person there and the person that you're supposed to meet uh, turns out to be somebody who's who's quite uh, serious, but the person that's accompanying them is friendlier and more generous, and um, and then you you get what you've been asking for. You know, you might be getting the salary that you've asked for. You might be getting the job. Um, you know, there's so many different ways of reading this, and um, I did see that. Uh, you know, you will actually be benefiting from this in some way. So I just want to see what the other cards have to say here because these two um, cards flew out. So, yeah, this is a situation which is not, uh, it's, it's not just um, offering you uh, something that's good. Yeah, this is something that, that's good that's coming out of this, but there's also um, something that makes you think a little bit more about this. It makes you ponder a bit longer. Uh, it, it, there is something to be thought about. There's something, there's some kind of negative or um, not necessarily negative, but a sad message that comes with this. Yeah, so it's, it's actually, I'm hearing it's not negative, but it is sad. 
um, as the message says here, Talisha Nakush, um, it means sad message or sad news rather. And so the um, what I'm hearing is that yes, you will you know receive something, and there's somebody who's going to be quite generous, and but you're also going to be have, uh, receiving um, um, some sad news in the process. And you will be thinking about this a lot. In some cases, it could be that, you know, you're asking what will happen when you go to the wake of a beloved one who's deceased. And um, you will receive, um, you know, something in this. But you'll also be sad about this. And it will also be something that you will be thinking about. So it's a two-pronged, you know. There's a negative, or not a negative, but there's a... There's a happy element and a, and a not ha happy element or something. It's not really telling me it's happy. It's more like um, it's it's basically saying that there's something where you benefit from this. OK, and you're happy to receive that benefit. But I don't see that you're all that happy to be with these people here. You may be feeling gratitude towards uh, the, the person that accompanies the person that you're going to see or um you may be feeling gratitude for something here, but there's also something to to be sad about. There's also something that you hear that is not good. Uh, and it could have to do with the person that you're meeting. Um, in fact, it feels more to me that it, it belongs to the sad news, belongs to the person that you're meeting. So it makes you it makes you sad when you hear about it. But at the same time, uh, later on, you're th just thinking about it and you, you're wondering about it and... Um, it gives you something um, really to think about, but but it does uh, it does make you a bit sad. Um, however, I do believe that this is a good meeting at the at the end of it, and I know I've said the word negative a couple of times, but it's actually not negative. It's it's in fact um, it's something that just has to be the way it is, and it's it's fine. There's benefit here, and there's also something to think about here, which is some um, bad. Or not bad but sad news okay so uh, that is your message for those of you who've chosen the second deck here okay which has the same cover as the fourth deck so that can be a bit confusing for some of you today so for those of you who've chosen this third deck here the question we're asking today is what will happen when we see them what will happen when we see them? So yeah, we, we have some good messages today and I'm really happy about that. Sometimes I do these readings and the messages are just awful. <laughs> and I'm just wondering, well, they're just not awful, but they're really sad and, and makes me sad as well. But I'm really happy to see that, um, you know, we've got three uh, fairly good messages in a row here. So uh, what I want to say is that you're going to be meeting somewhere. It's going to be indoors. OK, and it's going to be the interior of some place. And um, you're going to be expecting or, or no, you're not going to be expecting, but you're going to be receiving some money or some benefit that you have not been expecting. And this is going to feel leave you feeling uh, rich and well and, and happy. So that's one scenario in in some. There's so many ways in which so many scenarios which are coming to me right now, uh, which are playing out here. In one of these scenarios, you meet with somebody and you you receive this um this gift or this this money that you were not expecting to receive and uh it's something that brings you um it brings you yeah it's re you receive it from somebody who's who who's who's a wealthy person okay this is a wealthy young person um in some in some situations you're invited somewhere to be to go to to meet somebody and you receive something of benefit to them so it's not always money like direct money cash but or, or some it could also be that this person this young person who could be a female or a male is actually off, offering you a uh, 
something. They're offering you something that they don't need. They're offering you something that is uh, that they have a lot of. And this is something which makes you really happy. It's something that you're not expecting. It makes you so happy. And it's it's something that relieves you. And it's it's great. And it could really, in many, many cases, it is money. For some others of you here, if you're going to have a... If you're going to a job interview and you are negotiating uh, your salary, you're going to be receiving more money than you've been expecting. So, um, and you're going to feel uh, quite well off as a result. It's going to be, it's not going to be, it's like you walk in here and you're expecting, okay, I'm just going to be receiving um, only this amount of, of, of money from, or this is the amount of money that we're going to negotiate. And I'm just going to make ends meet and it's not going to be enough. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just really worried about it. But then you what happens is that you receive much more than you've been expecting. And as a result, um, you feel quite well, quite buoyant after that, quite, you know, you're not feeling restrained in any manner. In some other scenarios, uh, you meeting somebody, uh, it could be like a, you know, in a school situation or a professor, or university situation where you're meeting somebody and uh, it's a quite an, a kind of cozy, intimate environment um, as in like maybe an office or some space where like a lounge where you meet in, in the, you know, in the department lounge or something like this or the staff um, tea room or it could be the boardroom as well in some situations. And um, you meet here and this person is extremely kind to you and, you know, flashes you a smile or is, you know, really is, is so makes your day. This person makes your day and it's something that you're not uh, expecting. And so you feel so much happier and so much richer as, um, as a result of that experience. Uh, there are also other scenarios here and I feel like it could go on forever with them. Um I'm just going to give you one more and then, um, you know, you can take this reading and apply it to your situation. Uh, basically, the cards are um, a lounge or um, a living room. It's unexpected money and it's a rich girl. And so, you know, you can you can actually take this and apply it to your situation and see where you will feel uh, well off or better off as a result of something that you're not expecting and where you're going to be meeting this person uh, indoors. If this is a love scenario um, and you're meeting at, a, at the person's house or in your own home, uh, this person's going to come forth and offer you something which is going to be of some, you know, something that you're certainly not expecting. But it's going to be, it's not necessarily a gift, but it's something that makes you feel so much better off as a result. So it could be that, you know, they, they come to you and they they say, oh, well, you know, I'm not using my car uh, this week or I'm not using this car. I've got two cars and I'm not using this one. Would you like to use it? And you don't have a, a transport at this moment or a vehicle. And so you feel so much richer as a result of, of having that. Or it could be that, you know, I'm getting the scenario where you need a photocopy machine and um, a photocopier. And then in this person's basically saying, OK, well, you know, um, instead of... Um, you're going to do those copies at the coffee shop every day. You know, you can, I have this uh, photocopier, which you can just have, and I'm going to bring it to you and deliver it to you. And you, as a result, it saves you money and it saves you time and, and, and you know, all the effort that you would, um, it, it would take to go to the coffee shop every day. So those are just like examples, like random examples that are popping into my head that may apply to some of you and, or, or yeah, and probably not to the rest of you. And so um, ultimately you meet, it's, it's like, um, a happy meeting where, because you benef you receive something and there's nothing to not be happy about and um, you feel better off as a result. Or you could be meeting somebody who is a fairly wealthy person or has a lot to offer or somebody who's very generous and they give you something that you're not expecting. Like perhaps you're going to have a consultation with somebody and they give you an extra uh, half an hour of their time and this is something that you uh, you know you're not really expecting or it could be that um, yeah it's it's a much more the meeting with them is much more intimate than you expect it to be the meeting with, with them is much more cozy than than you expect it to be so you expect it to be just neither here or there but then um, you you receive so much more from this and and this you know the living room here could also 
um, represent that it's more intimate than you expect it to be. Okay, so I think I've really given you all the scenarios here. And uh, thank you for those of you who've chosen this one here. For those of you who've chosen the fourth deck here, the question we're asking today is what will happen when we see them? Or what will happen when we see each other? What will happen when you see them? So here, um, I feel that this might be this may apply to people who are uh, in love, or uh, you asking about a loved one, and uh, it seems like you know when you when you meet them, you will come together in a way that is more an official kind of partnership, or you come together, and um, yeah, you come together and you basically enjoy a, a relationship or a partnership okay um and with that there is a, a letter or some some message which is a really pleasant message to receive so you receive a message here which is very pleasant and there is a partnership to be expected so and it's also uh, there's like an acknowledgement of you and your skills or your ability or just who you are you're being honored in some way so um, the it's like you're being invited to a space which is which uh, which honors you. So you know this. If you're asking about a love situation here, this person when you meet them the next time, there is a good chance that you will end up in a more formal relationship with each other. So you, you know you may you might make it official. It might be that you've been seeing each other, but you know now you uh, you basically. Uh, make it you know quite clear that you will be in a relationship with each other and this person then has something to give you which is a, a letter or a message which is it's a very pleasant message it's something good to receive it makes you feel good it makes you feel you know warm inside of you and I feel that this person then you know he this person he or she is able to say to you well you know uh, is, is able to celebrate you, is able to honor you, is able to appreciate uh, so much of you. And um, for those of you who have not asking about love here, there's a, uh, let's say you're asking about work, or you're asking about a colleague, or you're asking about a potential colleague or an associate, there is a chance that you could come together and form a, um, a, a partnership with each other in terms of the business where you... Um, partner with each other on a particular project and um, it's a pleasant project and you receive honors for it you receive uh, acknowledgement for it you you know you have success in it and and you acknowledge by other colleagues as a result um, in other scenarios if it's uh, you know if it's family or um, yeah if it's family for instance and you're coming together you feel a closeness to each other you feel a, a real warmth and a real closeness to each other you feel like really happy to see each other again and it's a pleasant experience and there's pleasant messages exchanged and and um you know you you kind of the your you, you know your family is proud of you or the person who see, you're seeing or you're asking about feels proud of you and they let you know that and they 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 are congratulating you on your achievements uh, for those of you who are asking uh, simply about uh, somebody else, like let's just say you're asking about, you know, a neighbor who you are not having a pleasant experience with. Well, I feel that here what's going to happen is that um, you're going to come to some kind of understanding with each other and you're going to be able to resolve the situation. And there will be there will be some kind of um, letter that confirms that 
or some kind of uh, yeah, a contract that basically um, um, is is yeah that some kind of contract that basically confirms that you have come, now come together. Uh, or, you know, if you've been arguing with somebody or whatever, you come together and you no longer are arguing, you come to an, uh, an agreement with each other and that's uh, perhaps put into paper or if it's not put into paper, it's just basically you come to a, a good agreement with each other. And as a result, um, there are others around you that acknowledge that. They acknowledge that you've made an effort. They acknowledge that you're doing that you are actually, you know, coming together and that you're putting the past behind you. Um, and that and the person that you're meeting may also be um, celebrating the fact that you have been able to come together and come to some kind of resolution over this matter. So I'm not uh, hearing any other scenarios right now, but ultimately what you can expect here is that uh, there will be some kind of agreement or togetherness. Uh, it will there will be a good message coming forth, or you know a pleasant letter. It says a uh, pleasant letter, and so it's um, a le you know a message with, with that's perhaps written. Uh, very often when I get um, you know when it's a letter, it's actually an email, a text message, a WhatsApp message, or something like this, or simply a old fashioned letter in an envelope that arrives in the past. And um, it could also be here that, you know, you're asking about an old school or an institution and uh, you receive your degree, you know, you receive your, your, sorry, I didn't realize it's not in frame, you receive your, your degree and you're happy about it and you receive your honors as a result and, uh, you know, you come together with somebody. So you, I mean, you may be asking about somebody here like a colleague or, uh, you know, uh, somebody you've studied with or somebody you went to university with or to college with and, or to school with and uh, basically you know you when you when you meet them again uh you will be receiving your you know you'll be graduating you'll be receiving your degree certificate or, or something like this and um yeah and and you'll be honored so in, in, in you know and these are quite different um um potentials here but um but this is yeah what you can expect Moving on to the final deck, uh, for those of you who've chosen this one um, and the fifth number, we're asking what will happen when we next see each other. One last card here for one last bit of information. Okay, so here um, we have an experience where you basically have been waiting for to see this person and you are really uh, doubting that you're going to see them and you really don't expect that you will. Um, there's a waiting period here. There's like, you know, you're looking out the window here wondering when will you see them? When are they going to come? When will they arrive in your life? And uh, they just don't seem to be arriving. They just don't seem to be there. And it makes you sad. It makes you really sad because you're giving up hope and you wondering, you know, if there will be uh, a chance to see each other. Um, and you just, you know, you're at that point where you're at the brink of just giving up um, because you can't, you know, hope any longer. You can't wait any longer. And, and then you come together. So for those of you asking about love, you come together and um, there is, a, you know, you have a good time together. There is something that you enjoy with each other. Now, this is not saying that you're going to come together and you're going to be in a long-term commitment or long-term relationship. This is just saying that you come together and you have a good time together. Okay. So for those of you who've chosen uh, this card here, the, I mean, the last uh, option here, I'm hearing that ultimately even though you're not expecting it or you're hoping it'll happen, but you're not expecting it to happen in a way, um, you will find that you will actually um, 
you know, have a good time ultimately in this. And the last card that's come out is that, you know, you, your unexpected money. Is, so you kind of, you stop waiting. What I'm hearing here, this is, I feel this is very much about love situations more so than in other situations. Although I will cover, um, you know, other, other options here. But basically um, what I'm hearing here is that you, you're just waiting a long time. You've been waiting for a while for this to actually happen and it's not really happening. And so you're at the point of giving up and as I mentioned already, and so you're not expecting anymore to have a good time. And so when you come to have this wonderful time with each other, when you come to enjoy each other, when you come to appreciate each other, when you come to just spend good, good times with each other, I don't know if you can see that. It's not really focused, is it? Yeah, it's better. So when you come to to see each other, you will see you will find that um, uh, that you actually have a really wonderful time with each other, and it's almost like a real relief. It's almost like you've been waiting for it for so long now that you don't really know, you know, if you will see this person or how you will see this person or what it will mean to see this person. And so you see this person and they actually are tender with you and they are loving and you feel good as a result. Um, and so you feel like you've benefited something as a result of that. Here, uh, you've ex you have something, you have a little fortune which you've not been expecting. In some cases, it can literally be that this person comes by and that they give you some money uh, that you were not expecting and it makes you uh, a lot happier and makes you feel like you've you know, your needs are being met here with, within this context, uh, whatever context it is. Um, cause it's just not, it's just not always love, you know, in other cases, it's like, uh, you go to meet this person. Okay. Um, and this can apply in all situations, but you go to meet this person, but you're just simply waiting because they don't show up, uh, or they just don't show up on time. They are delayed or they just not there. And then you start to think the worst things you know you start to wonder well what happened to them did something happen to them are they okay and then you start to think oh goodness did they just stand me up you know what's going on here uh how could they do this and you, you begin to think the worst thoughts you could possibly think and then um you know at the very last moment they arrive and you actually have a good time with each other and there's a reason for them not having you know arrived earlier there's something that they can explain to you and even though i feel like you don't really buy this like this feels to me like there's this potential for love. There's this potential for a relationship. But I want to say, like, don't get your hopes up with this person because it feels like they're going to disappear again. Or it feels like they're going to go away if this is love. But um, this person is just like, I yeah, I know you're just asking what will happen when you see them, but I'm getting this information and it feels like you cannot trust this person. Like they, you cannot trust them to stay, but you can certainly have a good time with them when you meet them. You can have a good time. You can share good things, but don't, um, I'm hearing that, you know, a lot of people are banking on this person coming in into their lives and spending the rest of their lives together or being in union and all of that kind of thing. But it's not actually going to happen because this person's going to come and, and go and they're going to come again and then go again. And, and in the times that they are there, it's going to be wonderful. And if you are able to just simply appreciate that and simply enjoy the times that you choose to spend with them and, and not expect anything more, then it's actually going to be a lot easier for you because this waiting for them, this expectation that you have of them is going to cause you so much of heartache and, and so much of grief. And it's just going to, it's going to be quite dismal, to be honest. And, and there's not much that you gain from from actually just waiting and hoping that they come into your life. Um, but actually, when you do uh, do spend time with them, it is like this unexpected, wonderful experience. And it feels to me like, and it's shown to me, actually, I was going to say, it feels to me like you have divine support here. And then I saw this angel. <laughs> uh, but it, it actually, it yeah, you have this, like, it is, um, it, these meetings that you have are actually, uh, you know, in, an, in divine order. And they are... Um, supported by the divine and so it's it's okay you know to go on and enjoy this but don't don't spend too much your time waiting because you're just going to be wasting away your life and um this person's not going to be 
the 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 idea sorry this idea that you have this person and what role they should fill in your life is not going to happen they're going to come in and fill another role and you're going to have fun and it's going to be great too but what you're expecting is not going to happen so um don't don't build up too many expectations just you know go on with your life and when you finally see them then go go out and have a good time and, and enjoy it and know that it's blessed and it's a beautiful experience that you will have and then leave it at that because um don't wait for them again and, and expect and that them to be there because it's gonna you know it, this feels like a cycle to me it feels like something that you wait for them you get worried about whether they're coming or not then they show up on their own time and then you have this unexpected wonderful feeling where you feel it's uh, you know really blessed and therefore it should be and therefore you should spend the rest of your lives together but then they then you're waiting again and then you are miserable again and sad and losing hope and then they come again and then the cycle continues and it feels it feels very much like that to me but uh, that is for, for those of you who are in a love situation. Um, I'm just going to see if there's any other kind of love scenario here. Yeah, the other love scenario I'm hearing is that basically, you know, you've kind of expected and hoped for something and this made you sad. And then, uh, but basically you come together and it's a good time. Um, but um, it's like you've been waiting, like literally waiting for them somewhere. Like you've literally been waiting outside a cafe or a bar or a restaurant for them and they're just not arriving and they arrive really late. It makes you feel really, really awful to be in the situation. But then you go on and have a really nice dinner or, or whatever with each other and you could even go on a, on a boat ride or you could even go on a, on a ferry ride or some kind of cruise or something like this um where you could in fact win something or or have some money that's you know you're not expecting for those of you not asking about love it's like you've been waiting a long time once again to uh with with you know a lot of um sad thoughts or difficult thoughts um, because you've given up hope and you've been waiting for something to come for, for something to come together and it does actually come together and it comes together in a way that it's unexpected and and you you do enjoy um, you do enjoy that it's a little bit of enjoyment that you receive from this um this surprise um i feel that ultimately you know for those of you not asking about love ultimately you will be happy with what you receive even though it's been like a really long road to be able to get there but um you will be able to to receive and to enjoy what you actually what is coming your way so uh, i think that's it for those of you who've chosen uh this this last um deck here so, yeah again. thank you for coming by and partaking in this reading and um wishing you all very well and many good times ahead and um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.